Yo, what's going on guys? Today we are going to be looking at more fake disorder cringe on TikTok. Now, as you guys know from my last video, we took a look at some of the worst cringe that involved people faking disorders or disabilities on TikTok for clout. And you guys seem to like it, so we're going to make a part two. Let's run it. So today I want to talk about King of the Hill lore. A common theme throughout these videos is the person trying to fake the disorder is the only person in the video. It's almost like they know that it would be very weird and cringe to act this way in front of other people. Ronald Coon, could it be that you're craving my McNuggies? Does that mean anything? Am I like just losing it or does that have no meaning whatsoever? Like I'm trying to think what that could have possibly meant and I seriously think she's communicating in a completely different language. Either she's literally speaking in tongues or she's saying something that's so obscure that it has no meaning so that people just leave a like out of pure confusion. It's a hard knock. A dragon with memories of being a dragon. Okay, listen, I don't care how many people want to defend this sort of behavior. I'm sorry, but someone has to say it. Dude, you are not a dragon. None of your alter egos are dragons. You are a human being. And I think you know that you're a human being. I think you're just pretending to have a disorder where you have memories of a dragon for TikTok likes. I think it's that simple. Okay, and here's another one where they are just talking nonsense. What is an introjective yeet? I have no clue, dude, okay? Gun to my head, if I could try to explain this, I, I guess I'm dead, dude. Like, I, I, I cannot explain what any of this means. What is a hyperfixation or special interest of yours slash gen? So yeah, I don't know why the word hyperfixation is used. I think that's just called enjoying something a lot. And I really enjoy doing YouTube. You know, I like making videos for you guys. I enjoy it. It's nice. I wouldn't call it hyperfixation though. Also, I'm sorry, but what is this drip? Double layered rainbow beaded Minecraft Among Us necklaces? Okay, here we have, let's see. When you get stabbed in headspace, like there's a knife in my stomach, but I'm still fronting WTF help me. Dude, you look like Ninja during that one stream where he was accidentally live and didn't get enough sleep. So this is part of the trend where it's like, act crazy and maybe people will stop and, and give you some attention. Like this one is just like saying stuff that's so vague and sounds mysterious and intriguing. Like, oh my god, what is happening? What's going on? It's like the beginning of Crazy Frog, you know? What's, what's going, going on? on? <laughs> like that's literally what they're trying to do. They're trying to like spam that they have no idea what's going on in their life so that maybe you can leave a like and support them. No, 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 no. No. Guys, guys, I need you to spam Rozzy Chill, Rozzy Chill, Rozzy Chill, Rozzy Chill. No, Rozzy, don't you. If you want me to take over this vessel, I need you to spam Rozzy, don't you. And spam your blackest hearts all over. I'm not even gonna claim this guy was joking or trolling with that one. He probably was on black tar heroin. Like, for all the other clips, it seems highly possible that they're faking it, but this guy, I mean, either he's just the greatest troll slash actor of all time, or he's actually coming down from a meth high. Well, actually, no, definitely, definitely not coming down, definitely peaking. And I feel like the missing two front teeth doesn't really help him out at all, so, I mean, there's definitely that. But out of all that we just witnessed, what even was that toward the end? He became, like, a little girl or something? Right! Razzie! Like what? Like what did I just witness? This person is in my comments section telling me that they're in training to be a therapist. Um, and because of that, they know that... I'm sorry. They know. Oh my god, spit it out! Like, what are you hyping up? This is not a Skrillex hype dubstep UK rave bass drop. Just say what you want to say, like, I'm actually getting frustrated after watching this. Like, I need to watch this video every single time I'm about to lift weights, and it'll just get me so pissed off. Like, why? Like, what even is this? Like, this is the sort of shit that you show Kim Jong-un when he's having a rough day, and then th that's it, dude. He just nukes the entire United States, no questions asked. That DID headmates do not fully form until the system is in their 30s. And because I'm only 21, I cannot have fully formed headmates. Of all the mis- of all the misconceptions, I, I, the idea is formed in childhood. It's like a strictly childhood disorder. I, 
What is with this overreaction, bro? Like, what is going on? Like, why are you covering your mouth over and over again? Like, you just got a jump scare from FNAF. I don't understand why you're so characterized and why you're overacting so hard. You just, you don't need to. You don't need to. Just read the comment, tell them why it's wrong, and that's the end of it. Instead, I'm getting all of this other garbage that I don't need to be seeing or hearing. Like, 100% of DID systems are formed before you're, you're 10? I... Anyways, um, I just needed somebody else to view this absurdity with me. Um... And if you really are uh, training to be a therapist, please learn to listen to people with the disability that you're talking about. Um, Bro, you're on TikTok. Nobody's gonna be serious with you on TikTok. Like, I know she's just trying to pull the, oh, that's so unprofessional for a therapist card, but dog, you don't deserve professionalism on TikTok. Literally nobody does. If you were polite to somebody on TikTok, like overly polite, I I'd be concerned, dog. Like, listen, I, I know manners and stuff. Like, I'm all for that, but uh, let's try to like use our manners in the right places, not you know, like TikTok. Genuine question, when you are a dog, do you find other dogs attractive? So I'm gonna assume that this TikToker has moments in their life where they identify as a dog. So I guess this comment was saying, yeah, dude, when you identify as a dog, are you attracted to other dogs? Now, this is actually a totally fair question because if I'm supposed to live my life believing that you're actually a dog, well, I have to know if that identity comes with attraction to other dogs. I don't care if this was supposed to be a genuine question. This is full of ignorance. First of all, I am not a dog. We have a non-human altar in our system. He is a child. No. Please stop sexualizing our altars. Dude, your altars, first of all, aren't even real, so for you saying, oh, he's a minor, HE DOESN'T EXIST! He's in your head! And he's probably not even in your head because you probably made this up for TikTok Cloud. Honestly, dude, round of applause. Quick side note, by the way, you appear to have a work uniform on. Why? What? What? Why are you filming a TikTok at work? Why are you talking about your altars that are probably fake at work? What even is this? Like, I would never want to shop at your business ever. Okay, and here we have somebody who is very intentionally about to overreact to the bass drop of a song and act like they just, I don't know, like, discovered fire or something. And you can see from the little captions that they're putting in, like, shake and tap. Wow. I'm shaking and tapping because this song is just so powerful. And then here we have must look at noise. Like, what does that even mean? Like, that doesn't even have any meaning. Hi, I'm Luke and I'm the host of the system. I'm Eras. I'm, I'm the protector, I guess. Get the fuck out of my face. So let me get this straight, you're pretending to have multiple different people inside of your body for clout, but not only that, you're gonna give each of them their own pronouns? Like, the, the protector of the system, like, bro, you are not, like, Power Rangers. I definitely see the appeal, though, like, in terms of how to get likes, it's like, okay, I'm gonna be five different personalities for clout, and each of them is gonna have their own pronouns, and each of them is gonna have their own favorite anime. It's all done very intentionally. We make sure to warn them if we're ever having a partner over just so that they are not startled if anything happens. We also warn Marianne, who is primarily their caretaker in the headspace. We also make sure that every partner we have knows we're a system. Before anything gets even a little bit hot and heavy, we inform them that there is a possibility that a little might front. We watch their reaction very closely, and if they are not somebody that we trust with our littles, they are not somebody that we trust with our body, period. And again, we are lucky enough that our littles almost never front without somebody else co-conscious. So there's always an adult ready to physically defend our little- When will you be happy? Like, at what point do you think, okay, yeah, that's it, we're good. We can stop this now. Like, like seriously, like, at what point? Is it a million followers? Two million? Three million? Seriously, what is it gonna take? Because honestly, I wanna know. Like, it's so ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, you're talking- Like, like this is, again, just another fucking language. Anyways, I think I'm gonna call it wraps here. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, comment down cheese if you made it to the end of the video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.